our freedom is under attack. Yesterday it was Paris. In recent years we have seen attacks in Amsterdam, New York, Madrid, London, Mumbai, Ottawa, Sydney and Brussels. It does not stop. And this is not the end of the misery, but just the beginning. Our elites have saddled us with an enormous problem. And we now realize what this means for our security, for ourselves and for our children. Do our leaders still dare to look into the mirror? After every attack, they cry crocodile tears and return to business as usual. They cowardly look away. They refuse to recognize what they themselves have caused. But no one, no one can deny the truth any longer. It is Islam that inspires the murderers every time again. It is Muhammad, the so-called prophet. It is the Quran. That is the problem and nothing else. Of course, I'm not talking about all Muslims. I'm talking about the violent ideology that aims to submit the whole world to Sharia law, that wants to destroy our freedoms. For 10 years already, the Party for Freedom has been warning against Islam. In 10 years, hardly anything has been done about it. And the time of looking away should now stop. Only tough measures can prevent further bloodshed. We have to de-Islamize our country. All immigration from Islamic countries must stop. Jihadis should leave the country and never return. We must close our borders, introduce our own border controls and leave Schengen. And we must deploy the army to protect our railways, shopping malls and streets. Tough measures. Enough is enough. My friends, today is a day of mourning, the victims of Islam. But it's also a day to finally start our liberation. Tomorrow should be a day that is better than today, not worse. A day with less Islam, a day of regained freedom.